Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel from Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on his videos, man. And uh, let's get to today's topic. All right, so the Ravens have finally, officially announced their 53-man roster, man. It took a long time. Uh, these roster cutdowns was due at 4 o'clock. I'm sure that that's when they happened, but it didn't get announced to now. I'm doing this video at like 8 o'clock right now. So, uh, but look, let's go over. Let's talk about surprises. Um, not surprises, you know. Let's just talk about the roster in full, all right? So, the Ravens decided to go with two quarterbacks. Now, the, the second quarterback is Tyler Huntley. Obviously, starter is Lamar Jackson. Uh, Josh Johnson, we'll see if they get him back. We'll see what happens there, all right? Four running backs. J.K. Dobbins, Gus, H Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, and Keaton Mitchell. Now, Keaton Mitchell has been one of the stars of Ravens training camp. Um, we'll see if they decide to keep him on the roster or they, if they I IR stash him because of his shoulder injury right now. Uh, we'll see what happens there. But as of right now, he's made the 53-man roster. You know, the Ravens always have um, an undrafted free agent player make the roster, and that's been Keith Mitchell right now. All right. Now, wide receivers. <clears throat> Odell, Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, Devin Duvernay, Nelson Aguilar, and Tylen Wallace. So Tylen Wallace officially won the uh, wide receiver sixth spot. That was pretty much confirmed when the news earlier came out today that the Ravens were going to release Laquan Treadwell. Um, now, with uh, Laquan Treadwell, I'm sure the Ravens hope to have him back on the uh, practice squad. Um, I believe that he will be back on the practice squad tomorrow. You know, that's, that's how a lot of these moves go. You know, you guys get released, you're back on the team the next day. Um, it is what it is kind of thing, right? All right, so tight ends. Uh, Ravens decide to go with three tight ends. Uh, Andrews, likely Kohler. Uh, we like Travis Volkolek. You know, I've talked about him multiple times on this channel. But it was just going to be hard to really see him having a roster spot on his team. Uh, Ravens really going to carry four tight ends and Patrick Ricard. It was always unlikely. Um, so, obviously, speaking of Ricard, he made the roster at fullback. Uh, so, maybe Ravens get, get Volkolek back. Um, maybe he goes somewhere else because he did put a lot of good tape out there, right? It all depends, right? We'll see what happens there, okay? Now, for your offensive line, the Ravens decided to go, I believe it's nine deep at offensive line. Uh, so, you got Ronnie Stanley, John Simpson, Tyler Lindenbaum, Kevin Zeitler, Morgan Moses, Daniel Falele, Patrick McCarry, Big Sala, and you got Ben Cleveland. All right, so now Ben Cleveland, that's the guy right there that we got to talk about, all right? Uh, coming into this, I would say, training camp portion, uh, he was on the bubble, firmly on the bubble to make this team, right? It seemed as though there was um, kind of a growing interest that he wouldn't be on this team at the, right now. So he was kind of losing spots, lo losing ground in the offensive line competition. I'm happy that he made the roster. That's that's the first thing. Um, second thing, I think that it's because he got off to a good start, right? Uh, as look as as uh, small as it may seem, last year Ben Cleveland, I believe, failed the conditioning test two or three days in a row, right? Now two or three days might not seem like a lot, but you're you're behind from the from the jump, right? This year, first day he passed it, so he started off camp well. He's kind of continued on a solid trajectory. Trajectory, excuse me. He's played well in preseason. Um, he's done enough to be on this roster. Uh, I'm happy that he made the team as a guy that obviously I root for the Ravens. I want to see their draft picks do well. So, see Ben Cleveland on the roster, even if right now it's just a uh, backup guard or a rotational guard, it's fine. Maybe he goes into be a starter, um, and that's what the Ravens get out of him. So, that's your pretty. That's your Ravens offense as of right now. Well, like I said, we'll see what happens with Keaton Mitchell um, if they decide to put him on IR and things like that. Um, this is something that Justin Rebeck has mentioned. That, you know, the Ravens have a couple of guys that they could put on IR to get some other players back. Keith Mitchell could be one of those players. We'll see. Now, as far as defense goes, all right, the outside linebackers, you got David Ojabo, Odafi Owe, uh, Jadavian Clowney, Tavius Robinson, and Malik Ham. Malik Ham, Baltimore kid, uh, went to City College High School here in Baltimore. Um, now, he's another guy, just like I said, could be on the uh, way to go into IR. But I don't know, man. You know, I think he's played really, really good in the preseason. Played really, had a really good training camp. And also, the other news that came out today is that Tyus Bowser will miss the first four games of the season. He will be on a non-football injured reserve list, NFI, um, which is not surprising, right? So let's talk about Tyus Bowser for a quick second, right? Because John Harbaugh has been saying since the first week of training camp, we expect Tyus Bowser to be out there week one versus Texas, right? Um, which is cool, but as it kept going on and on and more and more, you get further along down, it's like, 
Uh, we're going to have Ty's Balls to come out here with no training camp, no preseason action, no um, any offseason action to speak of, right? He he didn't, he wasn't here for OTAs, uh, many camps, but he didn't do anything, right? He's been hurt the entire offseason. So it's always going to be a tough and difficult act for him to come out and play week one. Now, um, is it unfortunate he'll miss the first four games? Yeah, probably. But at least he hopefully you give him time to recover. He'll come back and, you know, he can be a tight boxer that we all know that he can be. Uh, so I don't really think that's a, it's a surprise that he's going to be out the first four weeks. I think it's something that's always been trending in this direction. But John Harbaugh has a weird way of um, not being secretive, but just being real, um, I don't know, noncommittal when it comes to injuries and things like that. Just the way he talks about them. So I'm not surprised that it went the way it went. All right, inside linebackers, um, Roquan. Patrick Queen, Malik Harrison, Trenton Simpson, Delshawn Phillips. Delshawn Phillips making the roster. I'm glad to see that. We'll, we'll talk about him in a second. Inside defensive, interior defensive lineman, excuse me. Um, Justin Matabike, Michael Pierce, Project Washington, Travis Jones. Your cornerbacks, uh, Marlon Humphrey, Rocky Seen, Ronald Darby, uh, Jalen Armour Davis, Pepe Williams, Brandon Stevens, Darius Washington, um, Arthur Marlette. That's the surprising one. Um, your safeties, you got Kyle Hamilton, Geno Stone, Marcus Williams, all right? Uh, special teams, got the GOAT, Justin Tucker. Uh, you got your holder, Tyler Ott. And you got your punter, Jordan Stout. Let's talk about a couple players here on defense. I think defense is where more surprises were right here, okay? Um, off the Marlette making a team with a Caillou Blue Kelly, I thought was a little surprising, right? Just because not saying Caillou Blue Kelly has some standout camp or played extremely well, to be honest, he hasn't, right? He's had he's made a couple plays here and there, but he's struggling. He's a rookie. I mean, he's a fifth-round rookie, you know. Him struggling shouldn't be a surprise anyway. But anyway, it's the fact of um, how I thought the Ravens viewed their draft picks, right? You know, the Ravens only had five picks this year. We know how much they complained about, oh, we only had this amount of picks, this amount of picks. So for them to cut, essentially, wave one of their picks outright, it's surprising. Then to do it for Arthur Marlette, while he is a veteran, Hasn't played very much as far as this offseason. He's been hurt a lot of this offseason as far as being a Baltimore Raven. Um, so I thought that was a little surprising. But, you know, you, you took the veteran aspect of it. Um, I guess it makes some sense. But I was a little surprised by that. Now, the hope is that you get Kyle Blue Kelly back on practice squad. I would think that's what the Ravens are aiming for. Um, I think that that's a likely possibility. I don't think he's done too much to save for a team to say, oh, yeah, let's go snatch up Kyle Blue Kelly, right? Um... So I think he'll be back, but still to me, surprising. I'm not gonna lie to you, very surprising. Um, and other guy I wanna talk about is Delshawn Phillips. Delshawn Phillips made the team for a couple of reasons. I think one reason is that he is a good special teams player, right? That's, you, you gotta talk about special teams. We, we kinda leave it out. We shouldn't, it's an important phase of the game. Um, we saw it change the game in the Super Bowl this past year with Kadarius Tony almost returned, almost returning a kick return because the special team players got, got out their lane, right? It's, it's an important phase of the game. Anyway, not can't return, punt return, excuse me. But anyway, secondly, he's vastly improved as a linebacker. Uh, he had multiple days in camp with interceptions, back-to-back -back days picking off Josh Johnson. And in the preseason, he's been literally all over the field. Um, so, Delshawn Phillips has made this, this team for a number of reasons. I think that it's highly deserved that he, he deserves to be on this roster. Um, so, I'm happy for Delshawn Phillips that he made the team, right? Now, as far as guys that will go to IR, like... There are like three candidates that I saw Justin Vivek mention and talked about him earlier. Um, Pepe is definitely going to IR just because he really is injured. Keith Mitchell has a slight injury, but they could just IR stash him. And Malik Ham could just be a guy that they just say, hey, maybe you're not ready to play, but we wanted to keep you on the team. We'll, we'll IR you, put your eye off right now. All right. Now, guys that could come back, um, Josh Johnson could come back, but quite honestly, he played really well in the preseason. Another team could snatch him up. He could go to somewhere and be somebody's backup. The Patriots just released both of their quarterbacks, right? They only have Mac Jones on the roster right now. Do, do the Patriots call Josh Johnson and say he'd be, be, be the backup? I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing stuff out there. But anyway, Josh Johnson could be a guy to come back. Um, Brent Urban, I think, will come back. Keevon Seymour, I think, will come back. So I think that's two. If the Ravens decided that IR stat, IR these three guys, I think two spots are already taken. I think Keevon Seymour is coming back, and I think uh, I know for sure Brent Urban is coming back. So that leaves one guy out there to possibly come back. Now, for me, the Ravens released uh, Daryl Worley. I think he'll be back on the special teams for sure. I'm a big fan of Daryl Worley. I would love to see him back. 
But that is a lot of corners when you're active day rosters. So I will understand. They say, hey, look, we'll just put you on the practice squad for right now. Um, and that's it, right? Um, I, I would understand that, honestly. I, I, I really would. Um, so, yeah, so that's your Ravens news, man. Uh, 25 on offense, 25 on defense. And you got your three special teams, guys, man. So, um, I think the practice, the practice squad can hold up to 16 players. We'll see who the Ravens decide to add to that practice squad. Uh, but right now, that is your Ravens 53 man roster. Um, without any changes to it, uh, obviously, there's some, some stuff will happen tomorrow. And you know, we'll talk about it then, man. But for right now, it's Gabriel to go to Fan TV. I'm out.